Welcome to the Anathium Visitor Center, New Harmony, Indiana. This is where we're going to go in and get the information to start our day here at this cute little town. I understand that this is the place that you need to go to make sure that you understand everything that's going on. So, we left Herky in the van really quick while we run into the visitor center, but I can tell you we're in New Harmony. We started out as Harmony, Indiana, and then became New Harmony. This was once a utopian society built, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. It lasted a short time, but uh, the town continues on today. Part of our small town Indiana tours. You'll never guess what day it is. Yep, grass cutting day here in New Harmony. <laughs> we were trying to decide, it's like, we just shouldn't wait this out. I got a feeling these guys are gonna be for hours. So, so we are here at the Roofless Church. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? I Roof, think so. Roofless yeah. Church. So, we're gonna take a look, come on. What you have here is just four walls and a lawn and gardens in between. Um, I would say it's probably maybe an acre or two where the land here inside here and uh, this dome structure here at the very end. Uh, we're going to walk down there and take a look at that, but um, as we said, today's grass cutting day, so uh, we're going to talk over the top of the mowers. It's pretty nice um, and peaceful here. And uh, some of the fountain, there is some fountains here, but the fountains have been shut off for weather uh, because we're heading into the winter season. But let's walk down here. Nancy is at this bell looking structure. So let's walk down there with her. So this uh, structure is kind of shaped like a bell looking area. It's, it's made out of wood. Although you look at the outside, you think maybe it was concrete or something like that. It's wood and they have some cobblestone floors in the center and um, the sculpture here in the middle. Um, I don't know if they have church services here or not. I don't think so. Uh, it's just a pretty interesting structure. I think it's pretty unique to this area and that it, it stands out uh, as you drive around and everything. When you think of uh, New Harmony, Indiana, you see this um, particular structure, but around there they have the walls uh, all the way around and then uh, they do have some uh, memorials here engraved in the side but hey it's a pretty neat looking structure the shingles themselves uh although from a distance i thought it was concrete but uh, you can tell it's uh, made out of cedar so yep pretty neat looking area Right across the, the street from where we're at before is a nice little garden here. Got a fountain, it's so peaceful and nice. Um, we're gonna walk on up here to some more of the historic structures. I've got a, a map here and a little guide. We, we spent about $5 at the visitor center and bought this walking guide. So 
I'm gonna try to get up there and get on track with this so I can tell you what's going on. This is what they called the baking house and it's currently being rebuilt. Anyway, the houses all had stoves were for cooking and keeping warm, but they did their baking here and each family had a day of the week that they could come and do their baking. Take a look. This is the Lentz house. It was uh, constructed in 1819. The Lentz family joined uh, the Harmonist uh, Society and uh, he listed his occupation as a lawyer, although there is no record that he ever did any legal work for the society, but they lived here uh, for a few years until his death. Around town, there's several of these little cabins that they have moved here out from outlining areas. But it's just really cool because you can see how somebody in the early 1800s hand hewed this. And it's just remarkable that it's still here today in 2021. In the visitor center that we went to, I found this handy dandy book of New Harmony. Of course you have to pay for it, but you know, that's just life nowadays. Anyway, so I'm gonna use my cheat sheet. This is a granary. It was built in 1819 and they stored grain in it. It is five stories tall, but now after the New, the Har new Harmonist people left, then other people used it for like um, cotton and different grains, stuff like that. Anyway, this thing was built in 1819 and look what a good shape it's in. I know they keep it up, but still, if I was that old, I'm not gonna be looking that good, right? This is interesting because it's all stone from this area. One of the things I, I think it's really neat about this structure is you look right here, it's got these slats and there were open spots where they could actually have uh, ventilation for air going through when this was a granary. Um, they also have a display here of a millstone that uh, came from the granary too. It's behind me here. Um, it's really cool. Like I said, five stories high and um, the structure is still here today. Very nice. Hey, this is the uh, community house and um, during the time that the harmonists were here this was used as a dormitory mainly for single students so uh, a single harmonist they were um, both male and female were in this facility and um, then later on after they moved out the uh, during the Owen period where the the industrial utopian society was trying to go here they would they would use this as a school so anyway it's a pretty neat building they both lived here and then later on after the harmonists and the industrialists all moved out of this area this became a um, you know just a, a retail store there was a hotel here at one time uh, they even had a cigar factory <laughs> in this building so anyway it's a neat building uh, it's a pretty cool construction take a look building here I you know one of the things I want to remind you is the harmonists were here approximately 10, 11 years, something like that, not here very long. So they built all these structures during that time and um, I just think it's quite an accomplishment. Right across from the common house, they have this walled area here and this another common area or garden and uh, something caught my eye on the wall here. It says, a culture that does not teach prayer soon runs mad with desire. And um, boy, nothing could be more true than, you know, where we, we find ourselves today. Uh, this uh, is not an old quote. It's uh, by Father Lawrence uh, Freeman uh, in 2001, but um, it just caught my eye and I wanted to point that out to you. Uh, Think about it.
Behind me is the Thralls Opera House. This was the last community building built by the Harmonists in 1824. At one time it was a gas station, but um, the last owners took out the garages and stuff like that and turned it into an opera house. I think you see now it's mainly just a tourist town with uh, little quaint antique shops and some restaurants and things like that. But uh, it's important to note when you think about it, this whole town was built uh, by, by the Harmonists in about a period of 10 years. So uh, they, they were pretty busy while they were here. Um, we like looking around here the different area, although um, you know, it's midweek now and they really roll up the sidewalk. So not very many of the stores are open, so we're not gonna take inside, but uh, we thought it was just, just a cute little town and a very peaceful walk. This labyrinth was built by the harmonists, mm -hmm. right? And um, what was it for? Yeah, Tell so me that. It's uh, supposed to be a place of meditation and prayer, and it's supposed to represent the different choices that one takes in their life to <laughs> achieve harmony. And also it represents how difficult it actually is. So uh, you go down a lot of wrong paths trying to reach harmony, which in this case is that represented by this house there the in the center. Uh, Are we supposed to try to get to it? So we're supposed to walk around a little bit. So there's a series of gates. Are we supposed to go through those? Well, we're supposed to make choices and try to achieve harmony. Can I follow you when you make the choices? Are you kidding me? There's no way we're going to achieve harmony with you following me because you'll be telling me I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try it. All right, here we go. We're not gonna risk it by letting Herky go. Oh, there's no way we'd catch up with him if he got loose, but anyway. Hey, are you finding the way? He thinks he is. Are you finding a way? I don't I think, think so. The wrong way, baby. All right, Ed just took us on a wild goose chase. We just went around in a circle, but I see it cut through here. That's cheating. I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> see, she cheated. She's never gonna find pure harmony. Oh, honey, I'm married to you. I've already found oh, it. Oh, yeah, right. Right, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we kind of cheated a little bit and made it to the center. Uh, I'm not quite sure we've found harmony, but um, hey, is that door open? Doors locked, but uh, there's a window here. Um, if you look in here, it's kind of echoey. Yodeling. Yep. Hello. Not too bad it's not open. Uh, anyway, we did get to the center. <laughs> That's a lot of fun walking around. This is the Harmonist graveyard. They did not put um, headstones on. They didn't believe in putting headstones on their graves. So it's just a field 
I heard somewhere there's like 200 graves here. I'm not quite sure. And it just has accurate. a stone wall around it. And they have a gate. You can't get in. This is as close as mm -hmm. you can get. They have a gorgeous fountain, which sounds amazing. And then they have like this sculpture thing a, of the it, labyrinth. Mm -hmm. it, it's very sweet in here. Very calm little garden area. Mm -hmm. Ed will get some video of it. But then, like I said, you can't go over this wall. But uh, yeah, take Unless a look at it. Take a look at it. It's the Harmonious Graveyard. Back in the day here, it was uh, kind of important in New Harmony. They had this toll bridge here that crossed over the Wabash and went over into Illinois from here. So uh, they have since closed this bridge and it's no longer uh, usable. You have to run down to Evansville, uh, which is about 11, 12 miles away, something like that to cross the bridge and go over. But this used to be the spot in the day to cross over the Wabash River. Do you see the blue awnings behind me? Caspers, and I'm telling you, if they don't have it, you don't need it. Great shop, full of awesome little knicky knackies And you know, I love my knicky knacks Across the street is the Firehouse Antiques. Uh, they were closed today, we couldn't go inside, but uh, I thought the building was really interesting. Uh, it was the city hall at one time, and then of course the firehouse was in the lower level. Um, interesting place, now, it's just an antique mall. You know what? I had this idea that one day it would be great to build a house and something like that, but uh, I've seen it done before and I'm sure that's something I'll never get around to doing. That's going to end it for us here today. Hopefully we have touched on enough stuff to whet your appetite to come to New Harmony, Indiana. Indiana. And I got to tell you, friendly, friendly place. We just, uh, we pulled over to get out to do this and the marshal stopped and talked to a super nice young man at first i thought i was in trouble for something Which, <laughs> but he just wanted to talk so yeah so hey. he said if we need anything flag him down hey i hope you enjoyed our video thanks for joining us this week um, stay tuned every week for our video because we are seeing the country here we go we're going to take this dog and walk him up main street <laughs>